You got one of these? I'm sure you do. Everyone's got one in their closet. An old Commodore 64. They sold millions of these things back in when? When was it, Joshua? 82. 1982. Yeah. Joshua Brentano, our uh, esteemed producer and longtime screensaver, is here. You were a Commodore fan when you were a uh, little guy. Seven years old. Is this old? yours? No. No. This is ours broke. We played it too much. Yeah. There, this was a very, very popular computer, and yeah. there were a lot of games on it. And, you know, if you look at the games in the old computers, they're not as sophisticated as mm -mm. the games that we're used to. Right. But because you played them when you were young, there's this nostalgia. Yeah. You want to play them again. That's right. So and tell me what you did here. Well, what, what I've done is uh, I ended up with, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of games that we got uh, way on back. On discs or on, on floppy disks? On five and a quarter floppy disk. Yep. And you and what you can do is you can take those discs and turn them into ROMs, into images. And we right. talked about those before on the show. Right. That's to what play you, in your emulator. That's like what you minion. download for an emulator. Right, okay. exactly. And so what you can do actually is connect your Commodore to your PC and store all those ROMs on your PC, but still use the hardware, the Commodore equipment to load and play them. Who needs an emulator when you got a Commodore? When you have the real thing. Is it better to do this this way? No, no. I think it's more fun. Well, but there's certain. Well, I got to tell you, it depends. The, the this, key, the joystick, an actual joystick, and these are the old Atari-style yeah. joysticks really aren't the same, and it's, no. it is better playing it with these. It is. They're, yeah. they're designed for these joysticks, not a big Sidewinder or something right. like that. Look at, you got to look at these, folks. I'm going to put the joystick down, because look at this. This thing weighs more than my laptop. What was, what was this thing? Floppy drive. That's just, that's all that is, a floppy drive, just a few hundred K. But that, so do you need one of these to start with? You don't. What you can do is you can, you can. If you have them on floppy, uh, I guess you would. If you have you can put them into your PC that okay. way. Okay. So you would hook this up to your PC, right. and using some special software, yes. you dump the images onto your PC. Right. Your PC hard drive can hold all of those images. Right. Or you can go uh, online and get them from, one of my favorite sites is uh, c64.com. You can download them. You can, they have every ROM there you could possibly want. Now this is the key, right? That's the key. That's an XE1541 cable. Okay. And it's just a, it's a, it's a specially designed cable that's wired to go from your Commodore on the back. Let's show the back here. So this goes into the, uh, the, the floppy drive port right. of the Commodore. It goes right there. And then it goes to the parallel port of your PC. Ah, so there's key number one. You've got to have a PC with a parallel with port. With a parallel port. That's the old style printer exactly. port. Exactly. No USB adapter? Nothing, nothing like that. yet, All right. no. Okay. And the biggest key is choosing the computer you're going to use. Why because the program we're going to use here is called six, uh, 64 HDD. And it works in DOS. And you can get it to work on a machine that has Windows and that sort of thing, but it's much easier just plain old DOS, pre-Windows DOS. So that program is the one that loads the images. It loads the image. and then, So basically it's turning this hard drive-based PC exactly. into a floppy disk drive yes. to service the Commodore exactly. 64. And you're gonna, the PC you want, you want to have a Pentium 46, something slower okay. to get the, com the two computers to kind of match speed. Where do you get the cable? You get the cable uh, from a number of sites online. I have it in the article. Is it expensive? Uh, about 15 bucks. And then the software is freely it's downloadable? It's free. Okay. Uh -huh. You can get a professional Show us how version. it works. So uh, right now on the PC here, we're running a program called the program called C64 or 64HDD. Look at that. It looks just like a Commodore. Well, that's because it is the Commodore. Oh, we're looking at the Commodore we're looking right at the now. Commodore. Oh, all right. So on the computer screen. <laughs> that would explain it. On the computer screen, loading this program is the biggest pain because there are a bunch of different switches and settings okay. and that sort of thing. Do you document I, that on, this, on our site? It's, it is in the article, yes. Okay, great. It's on there. Uh, and so it's just a matter of finding those settings and matching them up. Uh, and so you start the server. So if we can switch over, uh, Christian, to the uh, PC screen, which will be a black and white DOS, DOS screen. screen. Exactly. And show that. That's, that's, the, that's the program That's the program running. running. Okay. And so you have the program. You define it as device number 8. Okay. Uh, just point it to the directory where they're stored and a bunch of other switches here. The and nice thing is a hard drive can hold literally every everything. Commodore game every ever com made. It's, it, pro it can. <laughs> it absolutely can. I don't know. Probably only a couple hundred megs. Let's load a game. Now okay, so we'll load a game. You got it running on this side. That makes we're the PC the... look like a, a floppy disk exactly. drive to Commodore. I just started the server. Okay. And as soon now as you on turn the Commodore, it on, we're going to load the directory there. That's what that dollar uh, sign is. Exactly. I even separated them all alphabetic, alphabetically. So that means directory name B. B. Got and it. then so we're going to load that. And then we have to actually load the contents of the directory. This so is the all... 8 is the drive that you, you select exactly. in the drive. Okay. And list it. So and there the are all the ROMs oh, look at that I downloaded. Games. And that's just the ones beginning with B. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to list that Let's again. Play a game. We'll play a game. We will play BC's Quest for Tires. So what you have to do is load the ROM, which is BC <laughs> I remember Quest. that. BC yeah. Comics. Yeah. Yep. Quest for Tires. And it's loaded there. Anybody who had a Commodore will remember these load commands. I mean, this is obscure to me, but I presume this is standard for a Commodore. Yes. Okay. Let's see if this works here. Oops. Press play on tape. Exactly. <laughs> well, this you have to tell it's a drive, not a tape. Loading. List. So there it is. It's now in we're basic. Load. It is. We're going to load the game, which is loading the first thing on the disk. 
Memories of and the way now we're gonna we run used it. to compute. Now, it's if you listen, listen, way down here on the computer, you can hear a clicking. Yeah. Click, click, click. It's loading one block. And so it's got to load 70 some blocks. How many ever blocks the program pick, pick, is? Pick, 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 pick. But right. that's, it has to do that, otherwise, it'll be too fast. It'll be C64. Fast. Exactly. Do you find that now the games are playing on the C64, so they're not going to play too fast. No. So the only issue really is you got to have a computer that runs DOS well. Exactly. And That's that means not XP. Not XP. Not NT. Not 2000. The, the program has worked on there, and and the creator of the program has got to work on a bunch of different places. But, but my experience is best is Windows DOS. 98 or 95, exactly. and then a DOS. Program. Exactly. Although since these images are so small, you could probably fit the images on the on the DOS you could. disk. You could. Multiple images. Easy. Here it is. Quest. So here it is. Oh, I like this. Quest I remember this. Tires. There he is. And we. We loaded it off on the PC, but it's running on the Commodore. Yeah, right, using all yeah this is, actually has a practical use because if you had on your floppies word processing documents, other data that you wanted to resurrect yeah. that you needed desperately because you spent years putting in all this stuff, mm -hmm. you can also do it yes. as well, right? And be able to read those right. and mount them and, and use them. 20 years ago. <laughs> 20. Is it really that long? Right, yeah. 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. And you were just a young lad. Yes. All right. Anything else we need to know? This is a great thing to be able practice, to do. Practice, practice. You have to get in and tweak and, <laughs> and it's, get it to work. Load quote dollar sign quote comma eight. Code very eight, important. Very important. Don't forget it, folks. That's for right. instructions on how to use your original C64 with your PC, check out Joshua's <laughs> article. All the details at the screen. Why? Oh, you got smushed. Well, I died. At thescreensavers.com. Keep playing. We got to play this in our land party. We will. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Still to come, our unreal.